Today, we're going to show you how to combine the flexibility of Formstack Forms with the connectivity of Microsoft Power Automate. There are many ways you can use this workflow across your business to automate tedious daily tasks. In this tutorial, we're going to use Power Automate to add new project ideas submitted on a Formstack form to Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Planner. Do you have a cool Formstack workflow to share? Connect with our partner team to learn how your workflow could be featured in our builder tutorials. Let's get started by building our project idea form in Formstack Forms. Select Create, choose Form, and give your form a title. In this example, we'll be using a blank form. Simply drag and drop the fields you want onto your form. We're adding a section and giving our form a title. To keep the intention of this form clear, we're adding a description to let users know the kind of information we're looking for. Once we're done adding fields to our form, we're marking some fields as required to ensure we only receive completed submissions. Now that we're happy with our form layout, we'll head over to Microsoft Power Automate to set up our Microsoft Planner and Excel connections. Log into your account and select Create. Choose Automate Cloudflow and give your flow a title. We want to trigger our flow when we receive a submission on our form. Search for the form stack trigger and hit Create. Next, you may need to authenticate your account. Once you're authenticated, Power Automate will bring in a list of all the forms in your account. Choose your form and hit New Step. First, we're going to set up our Microsoft Excel connection. Under Choose an Operation, choose Excel Online. We want to add new ideas to a table in an Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to choose Add a Row to a Table under Actions. Once your account is authenticated, Power Automate will bring in a list of the folders in your account. Choose the folder and the file you want to populate. We'll also identify the table where we want our data to populate. For the Submitted On field, we'll just use the date the form was submitted using Power Automate's low-code expression feature. When your fields are matched, hit Save, and we're ready to connect to Microsoft Planner. Rather than adding a subsequent action, we'd like our form to populate our Excel table and our Microsoft Planner board simultaneously. Underneath your trigger, hover over the arrow to add a parallel branch. Under Choose an Operation, choose Planner. We're setting our task to create a task. Identify the location of the board you'd like to update, and use a field from your form to give the task a name. Once we've set up our flow, we can run a test using the flow checker. Run a manual test or use data that was previously submitted on your form. This will run through your flow and identify any things that need to be fixed. It looks like the last user to submit an idea was not a member of the planner board. Simply head over to the board and add that member if you'll need to collect submissions from them. Now we'll run another test. Add test data to your form. Head over to your idea intake spreadsheet and your planner board to make sure they populated correctly. This tutorial was inspired by a workflow created by Formstack partner SeedSpark. SeedSpark is a technology and digital solutions company dedicated to transforming businesses with technology. If you're looking for technology management, web and application development, or digital marketing solutions, Formstack partner SeedSpark is ready to help your business grow. With Formstack and Microsoft Power Automate, you can connect your forms and documents to the business systems you use most. Test this automated workflow and many more with a 14-day free trial, or check out other videos in our Builder series for more ways to automate your workday.